Well, in many respects, he's a promoter's dream. Kevin Trailblazer Holland sometimes flaps the gums a little bit and maybe says some things that the UFC doesn't like. But this guy is a soldier, a promotional workhorse, always answers the bell, and not just answers the bell, but always shows up in fine fettle, always in good shape, always ready to perform. His strength of schedule rivals any fighter in the UFC's middleweight or light heavyweight division. And if Kevin Holland can fight on instinct, stay true to himself, not play his opponent's game, the guy could be a world champion one day. Easier said than done. are going to be flying early and often. He's one of the better kickboxing practitioners we have in this division. Yeah, when he can make you fight him in a kickboxing fight, I mean, you would imagine you're watching this guy in glory or something yeah. because he's so good in this specific area of fighting. He mixes everything up so well from in close. He's so comfortable in close. He's rolling his shoulders, rolling right to leg kicks. He will batter and bruise you and beat you up from in close. He's amazing. You better take this dude down if you want a chance to win the Right. Well, you put it well, and he has adapted his style very well to mixed martial arts. But when the fight is on the feet, caution flammable. Well, a lot of us remember when this arena was erected, and a lot of UFC history has played out here since. Eddie Hot Arena sold out tonight in Abu Dhabi for the latest UFC paper our tail of the tape for this middleweight fight. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> third man in the octagon for this one. All right, so another big spot in a career full of them for Jack Hermanson as this round gets underway. Gone is his four-fight winning streak that put him in title contention back in 2019. But if you have any grappling deficiencies whatsoever when it comes to your takedown or submission defense, this is the last guy you want to see showing up in your brain. Oh, high amplitude head kick! To the head. Beautiful leg kick lands. It's those leg kicks that's eating him alive. Oh, nice combo. Yes. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output in pace. When his opponent he jumps. This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Oh, good defense. Yes. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Hermanson. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Working from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Hermanson. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Trying to recover full guard there. Get up, 
Get up, get up, get up. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Mm, nice. He needs to try to get to a half guard at least. At minimum, try to go to half guard. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. Oh, staying busy, fighting off of his back, and he lands. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Beautiful submission attempt here. Oh, he's got the Kimura position locked in now. Oh, you better tap or that thing's gonna snap. He's got it isolated. How in the world did he escape that submission? Oh, nice combination of ground and pound here by Hull. Great job finding his shots from the top position. Well, we'll see who has the edge here as they get back to their feet after a pretty engaged battle there on the ground. And both of these guys should feel pretty satisfied because they both had their moments and they both showed true skill on the ground. All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. Oh, nice. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger. Hermanson's going for the sub here. Oh, he's got the arm in tight. He's got a good body position, yup. You cannot sit in this position. Referee will have no choice but to stop the fight. All right, dominant position for him here. Full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you gotta start moving those hips. What you should... Her Manson's looking to lock up an arm bar here. Ooh, that's tight. I'd be tight. It's starting to get really tight in there. Just stayed calm. He was able to withstand the fire, and now he finds himself out and safe. Final seconds. Hermanson's in half guard now. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defense. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. All right, so the crowd voicing its appreciation after that crazy sequence in the previous round nearly submitted him there, DC. This is usually what we get with striking, but tonight you have a very educated crowd. They appreciate high-level grappling, and they are getting that tonight in this fight. That submission was in deep, but wow, what a great job of escaping and living to fight another day. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's Second round here. So with that, our next round is underway. It looked like maybe we wouldn't get here. There was a first attempt on a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. That leg kick hurt. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Straight punch. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. And there's a takedown attempt. Allen gets in the clinch. Look at how he drives his knee. Right into his opponent's face. Hurt. He's hurt. 
Big right hand there. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of... Oh, nice double look, yes. with the ground and pound here. Let's go, get him off. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, good ground and pound here. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. Great ground and pound by this man. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Hermanson's in half guard. Oh, big pop from the crowd as they get back to their feet after a pretty scintillating grappling battle there on the ground. Well, it's an educated crowd, John. They appreciated all the grappling exchanges and how how skilled both of these men are. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So we got the great timing on that double leg. Hermanson's looking for that arm triangle now. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. And there it is! Oh, my goodness! Jeez Louise! Wow, an unbelievable result here tonight by way of submission. And he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. All right, let's get it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 35 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by submission due to an arm triangle choke, Jack the Joker Hermanson. Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. And they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward they needed to not just win, but get the finish, and they certainly got it tonight. They got the finish. He's such a terrific grappler. Every time he is on his back, he looks for submissions over and over again. Eventually, he found one tonight and got the desired result.